Guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another home gym video. In today's video, guys, we're talking about what I'm getting so many questions about today. This right here. So this is going to be the final video I make on uh, the conversion of a squat stand into a half rack. I'm going to keep it very simple, very concise. And if you guys enjoy the video or it helps you out, I appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. So what we're looking at right here is the Rogue SML1 squat stand. Now with this squat stand, you can purchase what's called the HR2 conversion kit. So the HR2 conversion kit has two sizes. One is 80 inches or 82 inches, something like that. There's one tall one that comes with a pull-up bar, and then there's a shorter version. So if you're limited on ceiling space, which I am here, and you wanna go with a uh, total height of 72 inches from the SML1 um, with the HR2 conversion kit, make sure all you have to do it doesn't t it, the reason it's confusing is because when you go to buy the hr2 conversion kit it doesn't give you the 70 inch options uh for the post until you go to check it so go to buy it <clears throat> then before you check out select the post size that's what you have to do so you select the post size to 70 inches with the floor base which is two inches off the ground that's going to give you 70 inch 72 inch total height um, of the half rack, which is what it turns it into. So that's how you can go from a squat stand to a half rack. That's the simplest way to do it. A lot of you guys had different questions about uh, hole spacing, different racks, and that kind of thing. Um, so you want to make sure it's a three by three rack, first and foremost. Um, and you want to make sure the dimensions are right. And if you have any other specific questions to your setup, honestly, you can just email or call Rogue and they will help you determine if uh, the HR2 conversion kit is going to work with your setup. Um, also, you can leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. But that's really it. That's really it. A aside from that, I'll give you a quick look over on the rack and, and what we got here. Aside from that, this is, I believe, the XML 43-inch uh, cross member, something like that. And you want to get one of these to keep your bar sturdy, especially if you don't have plate storage. If you have what I have here and you have the plate storage and uh, the cross member, then it's going to be sturdy as hell. I mean, yeah, it still shakes, but it still shakes. I'll try to film it when I'm doing that. But not very much. It's, it's pretty sturdy. If you don't have the cross member, you don't have the plate storage, it's going to be a little bit wonky. It's going to it's gonna rattle quite a bit. Still going to be fine, but <clears throat> just something to keep in mind if you are going to go this route. But uh, yeah, I love it, man. I love it. Um, now, the next question I always get, can you bench inside of here? This is only 17 inches. So, I mean, you could, but it would be super constricted. It would be very awkward, and it would not allow you to have plate storage at the same time. So, I mean, you could try it. I think it wouldn't really work, but... I mean, it's, it's definitely possible, but, you know, I, I wouldn't recommend buying it for, for that reason of mine. But you can just bench outside of it and not have any issues. So, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I love it. I think this is a great, um, for anyone that's height restricted like I am, I think this is an awesome uh, economical purchase that's going to be built to last. And um, I think that's why there's so much interest in it is because it doesn't come as, like, you kind of have to, you kind of have to customize it. <clears throat> With, uh, with your purchases, it doesn't come as like one full thing, which would be really cool if Rogue would uh, just sell it as, you know, 72 inch half rack. I think that would fly off the shelves, but uh, remains to be seen. And this is what it is for right now. So I hope that that helps you guys out. I'm just trying to look at this and think if there's anything I'm forgetting here. Um, <clears throat> no, I mean, aside from the spotter arms and the uh, the safety pins also don't come with it, um, which I don't use because I don't bench the side of it. But yeah, outside of that, that's all you need to know. So. That's it. That's my last video on uh, on this topic. So hopefully that helps you guys out who are specifically looking for how to hook up your H HR2 um, to the SML1. <clears throat> so let me know what you think of that down below in the comments. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Catch the next one, guys. Chicken out. Bear, bear.